King Charles III and the Queen Consort will pay a visit to Wales on Friday and attend a service of remembrance for Her Majesty the Queen at Landaff Cathedral. They will also meet with local members of the community as part of the itinerary for their trip. There will be a motion of condolence at the Synod in Cardiff Bay before the King holds a private audience with Mark Drakford, the First Minister of Wales. The meeting will take place at Cardiff Castle, where the first 2,000 people in line will be permitted to enter. Following his investiture at Carnarvon Castle in North Wales in 1969, Charles served as Prince of Wales for over 53 years. Dr. Mari William, lecturer in modern history at Bangor University, told Sky News, it was the big, formal introduction of Charles as this symbol, if you like, of Wales. Then Prince Charles being invested as Prince of Wales, image, Getty, the new King Charles and Queen Consort Camilla, image, Getty, opinion polls from the late 1960s show about 70% to 80% approval of Charles being invested as Prince of Wales, but there were also very vocal protests. I think in Welsh history we tend to focus a lot on the protest against Charles and not so much on how he tried to integrate himself with Wales and Welsh culture. While preparing to take on the role Charles spent 10 weeks studying Welsh history and the language at Aberystwyth University, as depicted in Netflix series The Crown. Read more, Kate and William's demeanour shows gigantic difference from Sussex's King Charles will visit Wales for the first time on Friday since ascending the throne, image, Getty, Dr. Rodri Shluid Morgan, director of Welsh language and culture at the university, explained how the future king would have studied and the intensive schedule. He said, you can see from his timetable, they were quite senior academic members of staff who were putting him through his paces in terms of Welsh literature, the Welsh language, Welsh history and they certainly made great progress with the young Charles. There are mixed feelings about the role of the royals in the country, after the English monarchy conquered Wales back in the 13th century. Don't miss Imperial State Crown adorns the Queen's coffin with 2,868 diamonds, latest Pakistan floods death toll nears 1,500, updates, MPs slammed for skipping the queue in Westminster Hall, spotlight, Charles was Prince of Wales for 53 years, image, Getty, trending Richard Roberts told Sky News in Carnarvon he was ambivalent about Charles ascending to the throne. He said, I was 13 in 1969 when the investiture took place here and it was in the age when we started to question politics and the situation of Wales within the British Isles, so I'm quite ambivalent. When asked if was supportive of the new monarch he responded, no, not really, because I feel that the establishment does not respect my Wales. However royalist Janine Brown said, I'm glad that has got his opportunity to become king, it's as it should be, obviously in sad circumstances but I think he'll make a good king, 